Hi, welcome back. I'm Dorothy. I'm a professional astrologer and you can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. So please join me there and on Facebook, Dorothy Morgan Astrologer. Today I want to talk about the month of June. So June, what we have going on, the first major happening is on June 7th. That's when the planet Mercury does its retrograde for the second time this year. It will be retrograde at three degrees of Cancer. So that means on June 6th, June 7th, June 8th, it will be stationary and it won't be moving any direction at all. What we get when that happens is we actually get people who are communicating very emotionally. We're going to see lots of tears or a lot of emotions, a lot of excitement. Mercury, as most of you know, is that communication planet and being in Cancer, it is emotion. We have to communicate through our emotions when this happens. So we might have some stuck energy for a couple of days there. But what's going to happen is after a few days, it will start moving into retrograde, and it's going to take 10 long days. So till June 17th is when Mercury will back into its own sign of Gemini, and it will stay in Gemini till it goes direct on July 1st. So we have an opportunity here for most, all of June actually, and then part of July while it, Mercury retraces its steps to really get some communication um, going with somebody in your life or somebody something, some way to redirect what it is that you're trying to say. And again, it all starts with that Mercury and Cancer sign. So really tap into your emotions, figure out what it is you need to say to somebody through the heart, through the emotions. So I'll leave you with that. On simply quickly, on June 9th, we have Neptune going retrograde in the sign of Pisces. It will be retrograde until November. So anything that you've been working on that's metaphysical, spiritual over the last year or so, you're going to get an opportunity to either learn it more. I think it's a great opportunity for us to incorporate or to assimilate information that we've been studying for months and months and months. I know many, many people in my own environment here at Circles of Wisdom and other places. People are taking class after class after class. I would recommend at this point in time from June through November, as far as your spiritual lessons go, you don't learn anything new. I want you to assimilate and really let the information that you've learned, all that information that's out here in your energy field, pull it in and start learning that, okay? And really incorporate that into your life. I'm going to leave you with that one. June 13th, we have that full moon at 22 degrees of Sagittarius. You can come back to my channel here and see more about that. But in a nutshell, fun, 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 summer school and fun. All right, do that. I'll talk about that in another broadcast. June 14th, the moon moving into the sign of Capricorn is going to trigger um, part of that cardinal cross we had in April. It'll make a conjunction to Pluto, so on June 14th, could be a fair amount of deep emotions coming and surfacing to the top, all right? It will make a square to Mars and to Uranus on the same day of June 14th. June 14th could be a bit of a volatile day, so keep your emotions in check, all right? Now, that is still within that dynamic of Mercury still in the sign of Cancer as well, when Mar when the Moon makes this connection to Pluto, Mars, and Uranus. So that means in that 13th and 14th of June time period, there could be a big amount of emotions coming up. And it could be something that has been under the surface for a long time for you emotionally. Let it come out. It's best if we let these things come out and let them, instead of letting them fester. <sighs> All right, June 19th. While Mercury is going retrograde, the Sun and Mercury will come together, they'll be combust, they'll be in the same location. That's on June 19th. That's the day before, the two days before the summer solstice. So with the Sun and Mercury at the final degree of Gemini and the kind of crossing paths like this, you know, that's just going to be, let's just be quiet on that day <laughs> if you can. But sometimes that Mercury and Gemini at that energy, that type of energy, it can put its foot in its mouth easily and say things that it shouldn't say. Or little lies, white lies that you've been kind of living with and working on and constantly feeding, they're going to come to the surface. All right, Pluto's involved here too the day before, so a couple days before. Watch what you say in the middle of June, all right? 
Now, June 21st is the summer solstice. Our focus is in on home and family. And again, it is really, really close to where Mercury went retrograde. So family dynamic is going to be playing a big role at the middle to the end of June. What's going on at home and with family, all right? I know those are key words, but it's the truth. All right, June 23rd. Venus moves into Gemini. This is fun. I own a Venus in Gemini. It is curious. It's fun. It's flirtatious. We just want to try all kinds of things. It's great for having wonderful chit chats with girlfriends and just talk, 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 talk. Constantly talking, talking about decorating, talking about what's beautiful, going to beautiful places in your area, in your neighborhood, give that a shot, traveling short distances all around your local environment, not necessarily going too far away, but enjoying the beauty and seeing the beauty and just traveling, day trips, but really enjoy yourself and have some fun, be flirtatious, don't hold back, have some fun with that. That Venus and Gemini is great fun, it's gonna be there for three, four weeks. And finally, I'm going to end June's forecast with the new moon at 5 degrees of Cancer. Again, that is just 2 degrees away from Mercury went retrograde, and that was on June 7th. On June 27th, that new moon in Cancer at 4 a.m. Eastern Time is going to help us to focus back in on what is truly important in our lives. And it always comes back to our emotions, our family, our home. All right? So, thank you all for watching. Hit pause once in a while and write this stuff down for yourself so you can keep track of it. I know it's a little bit long. I thank you for watching and come back to see the full moon forecast. When is that? It is uh, June 23rd. Come back and, no, June 13th. Come back and see me then. <laughs> All right, blessed be and namaste.